Okay, so Alpha asks about two things at the same time. Uh, Alpha is asking about the Alpha bidder's main trump suit. And it asks partner about whether they have primary support for that suit. In other words, primary support being three to an honor or four small. And you've either got that level of support or you haven't. Um, if you haven't got that level of support for partner suit, you're going to make a one or two step response. And those are called negative responses. If you have got that level of support or better for partner suit, you're going to make at least a three level, uh, sorry, a three step response to alpha. Um, and uh, those are considered positive responses. But at the same time, we're also asking about how many controls partner has, whether they've got naught to three controls or four or more controls. So it asks both of those questions at the same time. Okay, it's called a, a primary Trump asking bid, Alpha is, uh, and it's not the only primary Trump asking bid. Delta is a primary Trump asking bid, uh, mainly because it can be used to initiate an asking bid sequence. That's basically what we mean as primary. There are some asking bid sequences which, in the simple system at any rate, uh, are always not the first asking bid in the sequence. Uh, Trump asks like Theta and Iota, which we come to in a few weeks, are secondary Trump asking bids because they are always preceded by a different asking bid, whether it's Alpha or Beta. Um, they are not primary Trump asking bids, and that's all we mean by primary. Okay, Alpha is always the first asking bid in a sequence. If it's if we've used a different asking bid, then alpha will never occur. Um, uh, literally, there is no situation where alpha can be the second asking bid in an asking bid sequence. Okay, so the most common place where an alpha, where alpha is used, is basically um, a simple bit of a new suit over a positive response to one club. So I've given you an example there of one club, one heart response, which is a positive response, and then two diamonds. That would be an alpha ask in diamonds. Uh, one club, one heart, one spade is an alpha ask in spades. Okay, there are three exceptions to that. I mentioned in the uh, I mentioned in the recap um, about low-level beta. There are three situations where a low-level beta is a relay over the positive response to one club. So one club, one no trump showing spades, two clubs is low-level beta. So it's not alpha. In those circumstances. One club to, well, say one club, one no trump, two no trumps. Two no trumps becomes alpha in the relay suit because one club, one no trump, two clubs is beta. I apologize for my dogs. So there's some examples that clarify. Um, if you look at the third one there, one club, two diamonds, two hearts is beta. So two no trumps over two diamonds is alpha in hearts. That's the way it works. Okay, so those are the situations over a positive response to one club where a bid can be alpha the other ones are all 
um, jump shifts over an intermediate opening, but not all of the intermediate openings. It's only intermediate openings of one club, one no trump, or two clubs. Okay, uh, over one heart and one spade, jump shifts are not alpha. They are fit showing jump shifts or um, uh, mini splinters. Um, but over one diamond, one no trump, or two clubs, an immediate jump shift and a new suit, uh, or even one diamond, three diamonds, because one diamond doesn't show diamonds, or doesn't promise diamonds, uh, is alpha in the suit bid. Okay, in, in the complex system, there are some other situations where a bid can be alpha. Um, I'm not going to confuse you by going into them now, but uh, um, there are some other situations which you'll see when we come to the complex system, if you're going to learn that, when uh, a bid can be alpha. Okay, so if we use alpha, it's always used to kick off an asking bid sequence. It's not the only way that we can kick off an asking bid sequence, but um, as I said before, if we're going to use alpha at all, it's always the first bid in an asking bid sequence. Um, the most common place, I, as I've said there, uh, alpha isn't actually used nearly as often as you might think if you're new to asking bids. Um, and I will, during the course of today, explain why that is. The most common, there are two fairly common situations where we tend to use alpha. Um, the first one is where the strong hand has a distributional two-suitor. In other words, generally at least 5-5, five, five, um, with no decent support or tolerance for a suit that opener might or partner might have shown. So, for example, if uh, the bidding starts one club, one heart, and we've got a big, big black two-suitor of spades and clubs, um, one spade would be the normal way, or even two clubs would be the normal way, to kick off that asking bid sequence, because we're not going to be interested in hearts. Um, not necessarily, anyway. Um, and if we've got, you know, 5-5 five, five or 6-5 five in spades and clubs, that would be a good situation for using alpha. The other one that's fairly common is where we've got a strong single suitor and uh, we judge that it's actually going to be cheaper to use alpha um, in order to be able to make the requisite repeat asks to, to get our long suit agreed without having to make the third ask at game level. Um, that may be a little bit, seem a little bit weird. Um, sometimes if we've got a long single suitor where we don't want to use an asking bid called Zeta, which sets the suitor's trumps unconditionally, um, which we come to again in a few weeks, if, uh, if that's the case, it can potentially take three bids in our long suit before the suit is definitely considered agreed as trumps. Um, and if we think the last uh, of those bids would be at game level, then um, we might judge to use uh, alpha rather than making a low-level beta and then introducing our suit after the low-level beta. Um, but most often, it's where we've got a distributional two-suitor. But on common or garden hands, uh, it's quite often that we end up using a low-level beta and then ask about our suit using theta or iota, mainly because, as I've said, it, we actually end up getting more precise information. And it's less likely that we're going to get a range response in terms of controls. Alpha, it's either 0 to 3 controls or 4 plus controls, whereas the normal scale for beta is 0 to 2, 
three, four, five, um, which is a little bit more precise. Similarly, theta and iota gets a much more precise response about the level of support that partner has for that suit. Um, it's not normally the case that there's a huge amount of difference in terms of bidding space, um, but there is sometimes, especially when we think partner might have a lot of controls. Um, and uh, uh, that's, if, if we think, if we're short on controls, but partner's made a positive response, there's a, a higher chance that partner's got quite a lot of controls now we might judge to use alpha rather than beta and then theta. Um, where we've got lots of controls, it's much more likely that the partner doesn't have many. And now we would probably tend to use beta and then theta, unless we've got this distributional two-suiter and so on. Uh, okay, so I mean, those are the options there, basically. Um, and this is this is the the situation I was referring to before. Um, we might, for example, sometimes use alpha um, with the intention of handing over the captaincy if we think that partner is going to have quite a lot of controls, um, rather than using beta and then not being able to hand over the captaincy. Uh, you, you'll you'll get to see what the issue are issue is as you start using um, and having to choose between the two sort of routes. Okay, so apart from those two, apart from those two instances of. And a simple new suit over a positive response that's not low-level beta. Um, a two-no trump rebid where a relay over the positive response would be beta. Um, and a jump shift over an opening of one diamond, one no trump or two clubs. Alpha simply does not occur in this system. Okay, those are the only two instances, uh, essentially, or the only three instances where it can be used. Okay, so any questions before we move on? Outstanding. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so we've covered uh, when a bid is and isn't alpha, the sorts of hands that we tend to use alpha on and considerations about whether to use alpha and whether to use something else. Uh, now we look at the steps, the step responses for alpha. Okay, unlike some other asking bids, there is only one range for alpha. Okay. Um, and whether partner is a past hand or not does not affect this because partner can be a past hand and still have four controls, two aces. They could still be an aught to ten. Um, so this is the only this is the only scale for alpha. So a one step response shows no support and naught to three controls. Two step shows no support and four or more controls. So those are the two negative responses to alpha. All of the other three or more step responses are showing support for the suit and they agree the suit as trumps. Uh, it's almost unheard of for partner to, um, I won't say it's never happened, but it's almost unheard of for alpha to be used, get a positive response and we somehow end up playing in something else. It's very rare. Um, okay, so a three-step response shows support and the naught to three controls. Four-step shows support and four or more controls. 
So those are the most common responses, one to four steps. Um, five steps or more is promising good support, which is at least four to an honor, a top honor. Okay, so queen to four, king to four, ace to four, or better, um, and at least four controls. So a five-step response shows good support and four controls, six steps shows good support and five controls, and so on. Um, uh, and and that, that scale is open-ended. I'm not sure what the record is for an alpha response, but uh, it probably is about eight steps. No, it's not, Phil. Okay. Five small or six small is considered support rather than good support. Mainly because um, the responses to sigma, which we haven't come to yet, which we come to in a couple of months, uh, or no, maybe a bit less than that, probably six weeks, um, uh, are based on, on that criteria that, that five small or six small is not as good as four to an honor. So if partner goes five steps or more, we know, we know that they've got at least one top honor in the suit, and we know that they've got four card support. Okay. Okay, so very important that you understand that the difference between a negative response to alpha and a positive response to alpha is whether we've got support for the suit and whether we're agreeing the suit is trumps. It's got nothing to do with how many controls we have. If we've got support, it's a positive response. If we haven't got support, it's a negative one or two step response. If we get a positive response to alpha, the suit is agreed. If we get a negative response to alpha, then it's not agreed. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Very important that you bear this paragraph in mind. Okay? If alpha is used, it always, but always, affects the range used in any subsequent beta and even the availability of beta subsequently. So if we get a, a one or three step response to alpha, where partner is showing naught to three controls, any subsequent beta of any kind is going to be using the weak beta scale, naught, one, two, three, four. Similarly, if we get a two or four step response showing four or more controls, any subsequent beta is always using the strong beta scale, naught to four, five, six, seven, and so on. And if we get a five step or greater response to alpha, partner is always shown an exact, an exact number of controls. And so beta is not available ever where we already know how many controls partner has exactly. Okay, so um, as far as alpha is concerned, actually the, the one that people might find confusing is actually two honors doubleton. Uh, it won't be confusing yet, but it will be confusing once we've covered theta and iota and delta. Because with theta, iota, and delta, um, two honors, two top honors doubleton is considered support in terms of agreeing the suit is trumped. But in response to alpha, it is not. Uh, a holding such as um, a top on a doubleton or three small is not good enough for support initially in terms of alpha. If partner asks again, and we've got high X or three small, um, then our response showing that does agree the suit is trumps. 
but the initial response to alpha, we have to show a negative, uh, a negative response. Okay, any questions on those step responses to alpha before we move on? We're not far off the end here. Practice hands afterwards. Okay, so before we uh, before we go on, uh, I'll give you uh, an example of alpha in use. Um, you'll have already seen it in in some of the other lessons. Um, alpha being used, um, but here's an archetypal example. Okay, um, North's going to open one club. I know they've only got 15 points, but it's such a good hand with good points, good playing strength, that it's inconceivable that we're not going to use Alpha here. Uh, sorry, inconceivable we're not going to use uh, a one club opening. Pass from East. Um, South's going to bid one spade, showing eight plus balanced. Um, North is now going to use Alpha because they've got a distributional two suitor. It's a good situation for using Alpha. They might bid two hearts first. That wouldn't be wrong because uh, the problem with a two club Alpha here is that a negative response a negative two-step response showing four or more controls would actually be bidding two hearts and now we can't ask in hearts until the three level whereas if we bid um two hearts a two spade or a two no trump negative response will still allow us to bid three clubs so we're potentially going to be in a cheaper sequence. Um, but suppose North doesn't think about that and bids two clubs. That's Alpha. Okay, so here South has good support for clubs. They've got four to a top honor. And they've got four or more controls. So they're going to make a, exactly a five-step response. Um, to the alpha ask so that's so this is showing exactly four controls so beta is not available now at all ever in this sequence um, because North knows exactly how many controls South has. And if that's the case, Beta is never, never available. So at this point, we've agreed clubs. We know Pan's got exactly four controls. Uh, North has got six. So we know we're missing an ace somewhere. Uh, so North could do lots of things here, but what they might actually do is to bid three diamonds which is epsilon in their void, this is quite a canny way of asking because if partner shows the ace of diamonds, we know they haven't got the ace of spades. Um, and, and that's not ideal. But if they show only the king of diamonds, then we know that they have got the ace of spades. Um, so three diamonds, uh, so three diamonds is this asking bid called Epsilon, which we cover in a few weeks. Uh, three no trumps, a three step response shows only second round control of diamonds. So now we know that partners got uh, the ace of spades and the king of hearts and the queen of clubs. Okay, so the only other thing that we need to ask now 
is to find out exactly what partner has in hearts. Playing five. Come on. Because we don't know. That Alpha doesn't necessarily show a superb suit, Ellie. It's just showing a distributional two-suited hand normally. And even that's not certain. Okay. Those are the criteria for the, the step responses to Alpha. Okay. If you've got good support and four or more controls, you should be making at least a five-step response to Alpha. Okay, it's not it's not good practice to to make a cheaper three or four step or a cheaper four step response and show a range response to alpha because it's a false economy. Okay, the difference between um, bidding, for example, a four step response of two no trumps over two clubs, which shows four or more controls and just support and bidding three clubs showing good support and exactly four controls if you think about it if it goes one club one spade two clubs two no trumps now north is going to have to bid three diamonds to find out exactly how many controls south has and that will get a three heart response showing exactly four controls partner doesn't know from from North's point of view he doesn't know that South got four to a top honor he just knows that they've got either four small or three to an honor and if they've got four small we've potentially got a club loser if we know that South's got four to a top honor we know that the clubs are absolutely a million percent solid against any opposing um, bidding and the other thing to bear in mind is that if you've agreed a suit as trumps using alpha and you get a two or four, sorry, a two or four, sorry, a three or four step response, apart from using sigma, which is an expensive way to go and it's always a hand that's interested in a slam rather than game, you can never find out exactly how good partner's support for your suit is so if you can show a four a five step or greater response then do it that's the rule because it's cheaper because it always means that partner doesn't have to use beta and partners immediately probably going to be reassured about trump solidity knowing that you've got uh, four to a top honor um, they can still use Sigma if they feel they have to. Uh, maybe they've only got one top honor and a five card suit, in which case you potentially still got a, a at least one loser in the Trump suit, unless partner's got two top honors to four. So you can still use Sigma, but a lot of the time, as here, they won't have to. Okay, Ellie? Okay, so back to this sequence. Uh, we've had an alpha ask of two clubs. Do you mean the one shown here? John? Um, no, because... Oh, right, sorry. Oh, yes, you're absolutely right. Good example. Thanks for that, John. It's been a long day. <laughs> Let me just undo those. I mentioned, and this is a, a good example, actually. Um, okay. Uh, I mentioned times when Sigma, um, where Sigma takes precedence over Beta. This is such a situation, okay? So here, actually, three diamonds, John is right, would be sigma because we've had a five-step or greater response to, uh, to our alpha ask. 
Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about Sigma tonight, but basically, if if Alpha gets a, a three or four step response, then a rebid, so a three step response would be two spades, three step response would be two no trumps. Uh, sorry, the four step response would be two no trumps. Now a rebid in the trump suit, i.e. three clubs by opener, would be Sigma. But where we get a five step or greater response to Alpha, then the relay in the next suit up is Sigma. And beat, relay beta uh, would get bumped, and any other bids potentially get bumped. So three diamonds cannot be epsilon here. So actually, south would go a different route. Um, they would bid three hearts, which is... So three diamonds can't be epsilon in diamonds because it's sigma. Um, Three hearts can't be beta because we know exactly how many controls South has because they bid five, a five-step response to Alpha. So three hearts is epsilon in hearts. Uh, South is going to bid four diamonds, which shows Second and third response, uh, second and third round controls in hearts. So that's either king queen x or king x, essentially. Uh, might be king queen x x even. Um, and that actually tells us a lot as well because if partners got the king of hearts, they can't have the two black aces. Sorry, the sorry the ace of diamonds and the ace of spades. So they must have, essentially, they must have the king of diamonds. Um, so we don't need to ask again in hearts, because if they got four to the king-queen, then we can pretty much take the hearts as solid. Um, if they've only got king X, we can likewise take the hearts as solid, because we can rough them good in the south hand. Um, Knowing that South has got the two red kings has helped us because now one more Epsilon ask will essentially do the trick. So we can bid um, four spades, which is four spades is asking about South's spade controls. That's going to get a five no trump response. A six step response to Epsilon shows first and third round control. So that's either ace X, not very likely if partner's got king X in hearts, but could be ace X if South's got king queen X in hearts. But either way, they have got the ace of spades now, which means they can't have um, the ace of diamonds. Otherwise, they'd have five controls. Uh, so we know that Parton's got the King of Diamonds, the King of Hearts, and the Ace of Spades. Either way, either way, seven clubs is absolutely solid. The only faint chance would be um, an opening rough in Hearts on the opening trick when Parton's got. For example, King Queen XX in the suit, and we're unlucky to find the Hearts 4-0. Um, but if bear in mind, if the Hearts are 4-0, we're probably going off, even if they don't find uh, we don't, even if they don't find the rough at trick one, uh, and it's just unlucky. Okay. Um, Okay, any questions about the use of alpha in that hand? That was a um, a nice example, and I'm grateful to John for pointing out my error with three diamonds.
So just one little bit of consolation there for you guys. Uh, I've been playing this system for 40 years. Um, I invented the Sigma Ask, and I still get it wrong sometimes um, here. If I was at the table, I'd probably get it right. Um, no, but uh, even I can get the system wrong sometimes. So if you get it wrong, uh, don't worry over much about it. Any questions about that sequence? And my thanks to Nuri if he was the one who pointed it out. Head, I think she said, uh, John. Egg. Yeah. Okay, so a few more considerations. Uh, now we're looking at repeat asks. Okay, so if we use alpha and we get a negative response, in other words, a one or two step response, we can make a repeat ask in the same suit. And in this case, a repeat alpha in the same suit is actually a theta ask. Or it could be iota if partner's shown a balanced hand. If that repeat ask in the same suit gets a response showing um, a top on a doubleton or three small, then that agrees the suit. If we get a response that shows less than that, um, then we can make a third response and that sets the suit as trumps. Uh, sorry, a third rebid in the same suit and that sets the suit as trumps. Um, whatever the response. So that's repeat in, a, in the same suit. If Similarly, if we get a negative response to alpha, we can also make a repeat ask in a different suit. And this is an iota ask, whether partner has shown a balanced hand or not. Um, uh, we're not going to cover a theta and iota in detail today. Uh, the notes are there on the website. We do come to theta and iota uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, so we can, we can either, if we've got a single suitor or a two suitor with very disparate lengths, we might uh, ask again in the same suit. If we've got a distributional two suitor, we would normally ask in the second suit if we get a negative response to the first suit. Uh, it used to be the case when, when I first wrote the system that asking bids could theoretically lapse in some of these situations. Uh, in practice, the way the system has developed over the years, that is never the case now. Asking bids lapse if partner hands over the captaincy or ends up signing off in no trumps um, or even jumping to game in their original suit. So if it goes one club, one heart, one spade, one no trump showing naught to three controls and no no good support for spades. If opener rebids four spades here, that's just to play. Shows a monster spade suit. Not interested in slam because responders only shown naught to three controls. Uh, and even if they have three controls, opener thinks that's not enough. So that would just be to play in spades. Um, but if they want to find out exactly how good uh, responders' support for spades are, they could rebid two spades over one no trump, and that would be uh, theta in that example. Okay, the reason why over, if we do a repeat in the same suit, it's, it's theta and only iota if partner's shown a balanced hand. But when we're making a repeat in a different suit, it's always iota. 
again, I've not covered like, theta and iota, but basically iota is a slightly collapsed response to uh, as scale of theta, where the the one and two step theta responses are contracted into one response that shows less than two to a top honor or three small. Um, the reason why a repeat in a different suit is always iota uh, is this. Okay, so where we're um, asking in a different suit, if partner hasn't got decent support for our first suit, it's more likely that they've got at least a doubleton in our second suit. Obviously, there's no guarantee of that. They might have three small in our first suit and a void in our second suit. But because of that, um, just in an attempt to... Uh, to save a little bit of space, which is always an issue. Um, if we're asking, making a repeat alpha in a different suit, uh, we collapse the theta scale slightly and it becomes an iota. Um, and there, are, there is scope for finding out exactly what partners holding is, including if they've got a singleton all void or a singleton honor. If we make a repeat ask in a different suit, and it gets um, a response showing uh, a one-step response to that repeat ask. Um, a third bid in that suit does allow us to differentiate between um, uh, a small doubleton and a singleton or void or a singleton honor in the suit. But again, we'll come to that when we look at IOTA. Uh, I think I've got a uh, an example of of that. Just bear with me a minute. Just have to bear with me while I find it. Okay, um, I mentioned that we can have alpha where it's a jump shift over an opening bid. Um, so here, east is going to open one diamond, which is 11 to 15, with a hand that's uh, not suitable for one of the other intermediate openings. Uh, here, in this instance, it's a uh, 4 4 for one hand with a singleton diamond. Uh, south is going to bid uh, pass. West is going to bid three diamonds, which is alpha in diamonds. North is going to pass. East is going to bid three hearts, which is showing... Um, So three hearts is the one-step response to three diamonds alpha. So that's showing no good support for hearts. Sorry, for diamonds, rather. And naught to three controls overall. Um, and now West might take advantage of that to bid three spades. So here, three spades is this asking bid called IOTA. in spades. Uh, just one sec. So a five-step response to IOTA shows four to a top honor or um, just one second.
four to a top honor or three to two top honors in spades. Now you'll get to see a little bit about how Iota and Theta get slightly more uh, precise responses. Um, here in practice, West knows that East has got four to the ace in spades at this point because they can't have two top honors. Um, uh, now, where would um, West go here? Uh, East has shown naught to three controls, so we don't know how many uh, controls East has exactly. So now, four no trumps will be relay beta because it's a relay. Four spades agrees spades as trumps. So a relay over that's going to be relay beta. And this is going to be using the weak scale. Because don't forget, we've used alpha. So any subsequent beta is either going to be uh, where we get a one to four step response to alpha. It's always going to be either the weak scale or the strong scale, never the intermediate normal scale. So four no trumps is relay BT using the weak scale. Uh, five clubs, five diamonds, five hearts, five spades is going to be showing. Oh, sorry. So that's showing three controls. Five clubs would show none. Five diamonds, one, five hearts, two, and five spades shows three controls. Um, three controls means that we are definitely missing um, either the, we actually know that we're missing uh, the ace of hearts. So we just have to take a chance on the queen of hearts or the position of the hearts. Um, but we know that a grand slam is out of the question um, because now pretty much if partner's got three controls and they've got the ace of spades, they must have the king of clubs and not uh, the king of hearts. Sorry, the ace of hearts rather. In fact, we might well, on the basis of that, um, it's possible we could take a chance on six no trumps, uh, but that is taking a chance because uh, although the diamonds might come in for six tricks, uh, we don't know whether they've got a singleton or a doubleton or three small, so we don't can't be certain. Six no trumps is safer in one respect uh, that a lead through our king x on the opening lead, King X of Hearts, might we might lose two tricks straight off the top. Um, but if we don't have six diamond tricks, then obviously six no trumps is going to fail miserably. Um, so it's probably better just to bid six diamonds. Uh, sorry, what am I talking about? Not six diamonds. Six spades, rather. So I've got... And this, of course, six spades is absolutely solid because uh, the opening lead's coming up to our king of hearts. Another reason for choosing spades rather than diamonds. Okay. Um, sorry about that. I had diamonds on the brain there because he said open one diamond. Um, okay. Spades were agreed by four spades. So there's no way if, if West bid six diamonds, that would be epsilon over five spades. Six spades, however, a return to the agreed suit at slam level is always going to be to play. Uh, north on lead. Okay, let's make it easy. Okay, any questions on that deal? 
So there we saw an alpha in diamonds, a negative response, and then a repeat in a different suit with three spades. And that got a positive response showing um, three to two top honors or four to one honor. Um, again, we'll look at iota and theta in more detail in a few weeks. Um, we then saw four no trumps being relay beta using the weak scale because alpha getting a negative response or, or sorry, less than a five step response always affects the scale used for any subsequent beta. So four no trumps was uh, beta using the weak scale. Um, and then over the five spade response, uh, we've just bid six. It doesn't matter. Uh, we know that part, we're missing the ace of hearts. We know that part's got the king of clubs because that's the only way you can have three controls when he's got four to the ace and spades. Um, okay, any questions? Okay. A little bit more here. Okay, so just looking at relay beta in isolation, if we get a three or four step response, particularly a four-step response. Four-step response to alpha is usually going to be, not always, but usually going to be uh, the suit immediately below our trump suit. If we've used two no trumps as alpha in the relay suit over a positive response, then that's not going to be the case. Um, but if the next suit up, over our positive response is the relays is the agreed suit then obviously relay beta will not be in the agreed suit because a rebid in the uh, agreed suit is going to be sigma so it is only a four step response that this is an issue uh, that a bit of the suit above the agreed suit is going to be beta um, Okay, if we use alpha in a minor suit and the relay over the alpha response would be three no trumps, then we ignore no trumps and move on to the next available suit. In other words, four clubs or four diamonds for relay beta, depending on what we've agreed. Okay, where we've agreed a minor, we can potentially sign off in three no trumps. Where we've agreed a major, um, then a bit of no trumps is always available uh, as relay beta. The only time it's not is if uh, is not in response to alpha. If if we get a positive response to alpha in a major, then a bit in no trumps is never going to be handing over the captaincy. It's never going to be. Um, anything other than relay beta potentially. Okay, so here we had, in that first example, we've had a, a, an opening of one club, one spade showing a balanced hand, two hearts, alpha in hearts, a three club response. Um, which is a three-step response. So we got support, but not to three controls. Now three diamonds is relay beta. That's fine. But for example, uh, if it's one club, one spade, two hearts alpha, three diamonds, showing uh, four or more controls and heart support, we ignore three hearts, which is sigma, and three spades would be relay beta. Um, if we have a sequence, if you look, the, the, I think it's the, the third example in that last paragraph. It's one club, two clubs. Two no trumps would be alpha in diamonds. 
suppose that gets a three spade response which is showing four or more controls and uh, diamond support and again there two no trumps is alpha in diamonds because one club two clubs two diamonds would be beta um, so if three spades was the alpha response uh, because we've agreed a, a minor here three spades agrees diamonds as trumps um, now three no trumps is a stent it's unlikely but it, three no trumps is ostensibly to play um, and in this instance um, actually what I've written there is wrong because the rules for Sigma have changed since I wrote that um, here uh, we haven't had any interference but the original alpha ask wasn't made by bidding um, the actual suit that we're interested in because two no trumps was alpha in diamonds so now actually four clubs is sigma and four hearts would be relay beta okay so over three spades three no trumps would be um, uh, sorry that's not true no I'm not all right so I I'm fine I am making this a complicated thing sorry just hang on a second Amy uh, okay sorry uh, what I've just said is garbage <laughs> just uh, ignore what I've just said uh, over three sp oh no it's not garbage sorry I'm absolutely right three no trumps is to play um, four clubs would be Sigma because a bit of four diamonds isn't within two bids of the uh, the alpha the alpha response um, so four clubs would be Sigma four diamonds isn't Sigma and it can't be because four clubs is Sigma and it can't be really beta because it's um, a bit of the agreed suit so actually four diamonds would be essentially um, turning off asking bids and asking for Q bids and four hearts would be relay beta as I've just said so um, I will change that afterwards I'm not going to change it now uh, but that last the penultimate sentence there is wrong because the rules for Sigma changed last year uh, it used to be that, that the rules for Sigma said that um, if it was a, a three or four step response then a rebid in the agreed suit was Sigma and if it was a five step or greater response it was a relay um, and then we clocked Sigma is quite rare but we clocked that if there was interference over the alpha ask then that can affect where the alpha response was in relation to the trump suit and if we were using two no trumps as um, particularly as alpha and it could also be where we're using d1p2 as alpha uh, we could end up upsetting where the responses are in relation to the agreed trump suit so we actually changed it to if the response to alpha is either immediately below or one bid below that below the agreed trump suit then a bit of the agreed trump suit is Sigma but if the positive response to alpha was either in the trump suit or not within two bids of the agreed trump suit then we would use a relay in the next suit up as Sigma and those are the situations where beta gets bumped any questions about that before we move on I do apologize for the confusion like I said uh, um, I missed changing that in these notes that were last used last year because the rules for Sigma have been changed since then any questions before I move on
Okay, I, I did actually have a section on Sigma here, but I've just noticed that, um, uh, again, I should have changed what I've said about Sigma, so I'm actually just going to leave um, Sigma alone, apart from what I've just said, uh, until we actually cover it later in the series, because it'll take too long to amend what I was about to say. Okay, last thing. Um, if Alpha or any other Trump asking bid, okay, gets a positive response, or I mean any response that agrees the suit as Trump's, then apart from repeat asks of whatever Trump asking bid we used, and bids like Sigma all the Trump asking bids automatically become unavailable. So if we use alpha and we get a positive response, then there's no way that any other bid could be theta, iota, delta, eta, anything else. Okay, similarly, if we use gamma to agree partners suit as Trumps, then all of the other Trump asking bids go out the window. OK, the only bids, the only asking bids, if we've agreed a suit as Trump's, the only asking bids that are potentially still available, apart from repeat asks in the same suit, are beta and epsilon. And if we already know how many uh, controls partner has, then only epsilon is available. And hopefully now you're starting to see how those underlying rules that I covered two weeks ago are helping us to be sure of what bids are available, what bids aren't available in any given sequence, and how we are always absolutely certain exactly what asking bid is being used in a given sequence. Okay, so for example, if you look at that last example uh, in that paragraph, it's gone one club, one heart, positive response, one spade, alpha in spades. Two diamonds is a three-step response to one spade. So that's agreeing um, spades as trumps, showing naught to three controls. So if we now bid three clubs, it's epsilon. It can't be theta, eta, iota, or any other letter of the Greek alphabet. It has to be epsilon. Okay? And if we bid two hearts over two diamonds, that wouldn't be gamma because gamma is not available now. That would be relay beta, even though partners showed a heart suit. Because that what's, that's what the rules say. Two diamonds agree spades as trumps. So, um, uh, actually, no, sorry, wrong again. New rules, two hearts would be sigma. No, it wouldn't, sorry. No, two hearts would be relay beta because two spades would be sigma because we're within two bits. Sorry, I was right the first time. Okay, any questions on alpha? Because that's really all I've got to to tell you. Um, I do apologize for the confusion over sigma. Um, I'm still getting used to the changes that we made to sigma during the course of this last 12 months. Um, uh, I've been playing Sigma the original way for a long, long time. Uh, the, the changes that we made are totally logical, and it actually simplifies how we treat Sigma. Um, but my brain isn't totally in gear today. Okay, if there's no questions, I do have some example hands. We've got just over half an hour left. Um, so, could I please have four victims on which I can inflict these hands? Anybody at all? If no newcomers to asking bids jump in, I'm quite happy to have four experienced players to show people how alpha is used. Um... Actually, I've been off all day today, funnily enough. 
Um, today has been a rest day, but it's the first rest day I've had all week. I've been working 12-hour shifts most of the week. Um, so, yeah, it's been a long week, but think of the money. <laughs> He's a rich man. I'm, I'm a rich, poor man. Uh, a rich, tired man. He's a rich man, and he has spent half his money already. His name is already spent all of the overtime that I worked this week. Spend, she uh, bought a scan and cut machine for 260 quid the other day, and that's all the overtime gone. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I, I won't even get it for another six weeks. Yeah, that's right. And his poor car's got the black death again. Yeah, and I think my car's got Mercedes black death. That's going to cost me about £600, so I really need as much overtime as I can get. <laughs> can we, can we, yeah, so you can all pay me £200 today for this bridge lesson. <laughs> okay, can I have three more, please? Um, anybody will do. Uh, if we don't have any relative newcomers to asking bids, um, I'll take any four that are prepared to sit. Um, come on, guys, time is money. It's ticking away. Thank you, Sanya. One more. Come on, guys. I don't want to spend the whole of this 35 minutes waiting for somebody to sit north. Come on, Nori, get in there. Oh, he's gone. Sorry, John, he's disappeared. Or at least I can't see him. Thank you, Ellie. You're a good man. A uh, woman, rather. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Some examples. Uh, almost certainly, he puts in more uh, um, problem hands than all the rest of us put together. Okay, so one club from East. Positive response in hearts by Sanya. Can I actually just stop? Can you just stop there a second, Esther, before you bid? Okay. Um, one consideration where you've got a big two suitor is you will always potentially have a choice between which suit you make your alpha ask in. Okay. And it's possible, obviously, that partner's got support for both of your suits or neither of your suits. Ideally, you should always bid the suit first where you have at least two bids between that suit and your second suit. So here, Esther could bid one spade as alpha and she could bid two clubs and that would be alpha. But if she bids one spade, there's only one bid between that first suit and her second suit. In other words, if East bids one no trump in response to one spade, that's a negative response. And if they bid two clubs in response to one spade, that's also a negative response. But if they ask in clubs first, then there are two bids between clubs and spades because a two diamond and a two heart bid, which are the two negative responses, will still allow an iota in spades. So ideally east should be asking in clubs here rather than spades however there is a temptation normally to make a bid in your cheapest suit where you've got a big two suit in hand like this um 
it could potentially be that your if you get a negative response to your first ask and partner's got four or more controls that you could be slightly embarrassed because your iota ask in the second suit is going to be one level higher than you would like but it's a matter of whether East wants to take a chance on it or not. Okay, carry on, Esther. You decide which one you want to do. Um, personally, I'd probably be... I was going to say, personally, I'd probably be one spade here and take a chance on it because I've got six controls in the East hand. So I might think, well, the chance of partner having four or more controls is slightly less. Not impossible. Um, okay, so two clubs got a positive response showing naught to three controls. Uh, that's what two spades is. So now clubs are agreed. So here, um, two no trumps technically, um, it can't, this can't be a sign off, and so it, it can be uh, relay beta. Um, three clubs here under the current rules would be sigma, and three diamonds would be epsilon rather than relay beta. But if we were somehow one level higher, then three no trumps over three spades would be a sign off four clubs would be sigma and four diamonds would be relay beta. But because two no trumps can't be a sign off, we can use it as relay beta. Carry on, Sanya. So two no trumps, because if you just hang on a second, Esther, because two clubs got a two spade response showing naught to three controls, two no trumps is relay beta using the weak scale so three spades is showing exactly three controls. Okay, carry on. So partner might have the ace of hearts and only one of our kings. Or they might have three kings. Well, it, it can affect it, Walid. OK, it can affect it, but but we tend to try and I mean, I said that I would tend to bid one spade a because it's slightly cheaper than two clubs B because here East has got six controls. So the chances of West having four or more controls is significantly reduced. Basically, they'd have to have the ace of hearts and two of the other kings to get four or more controls. Um, oh no, sorry, they could have four kings, true. Um, but it, it is significantly reduced when I've got six or more controls. Um, and if, if they have got four or more controls, then I'm almost certainly going to be heading towards a slam. Um, so here, I, would, I personally would tend to bid one spade over one heart. But yes, it can well be um, that the length of the suit does affect which one we bid first. If we've got a 6-5, um, if I had six spades and five clubs, I would always bid one spade first here. Here it's pretty much a toss-up where you've got five spades and six clubs. Um, down to personal preference, neither is wrong. Um, from a purist point of view, two clubs is better. A, because the clubs are longer, and B, because there are two bids for the negative responses between clubs and spades, but not between spades and clubs. Okay, so uh, we had two no trumps, which was beta. So now four diamonds is epsilon in diamonds. We know exactly how many controls partners got. Uh, so four hearts shows either first and second round control of diamonds, which they cannot have because we've got, East has got the ace. So that's showing no control of diamonds. So actually, Sanya, that's wrong. It should be four spades 
showing third round control of diamonds because you've got a doubleton. Can we just undo four hearts, please? So four diamonds, Epsilon should get a four spade response because we are we are looking at shortages as well as controls with Epsilon. Okay, um, five clubs here would be a sign-off. Uh, technically, four no trumps would be um, to play. unlikely here um, we've made a beta ask and partners got the maximum number of controls they can have uh, no because we're not we're in an asking bid sequence we're not in uh, a Q bidding sequence so it can't be it can't be rolling in a different sequence I suppose it's conceivable that four no trumps might be um, an invitation to Qbid, but in practice, when we've had this many asking bids, it's very unlikely to be that. Um, four no trumps can be an invitation to Qbid if we're not in an asking bid sequence, uh, particularly if we've agreed a major. Um, yeah, you know, particularly if we agreed spades. Basically, um, if we've agreed spades at the four level, then four no trumps might be. An invitation to Qbid where we haven't got the ace of clubs. Okay, so now five clubs is just signing off. That's curious. If partners, just hang on a minute, Esther, if partner hasn't got the king of hearts, sorry, the king of diamonds, there's a good chance that they've got the king of spades. I think, uh, okay, uh, I, I must confess, actually, I think I would bite the bullet over three spades. I think four diamonds is actually a mistake here. I think four diamonds is your problem. I think the main thing is to find out if partner's got the king of spades. So I would be bidding four spades over three spades. This This comes down to picking your way through an asking bid sequence here. Um, if if you think about it, just before you go any further, Ellie, uh, sorry, Sanya, just before you bid, over three spades, you do have a choice, obviously, as to which bid you start asking Epsilon in. Okay. Um, if... Uh, if you ask in spades... That's the suit that you're mainly interested in, because if partner does have the king of spades, then really you definitely want to be in a slam here, however many spades they've got. Um, so really, four spades is going to give you the main answer that you want. If partner shows, say, third round control of spades, now the chances are significantly greater that they've got the king of diamonds. But if they got the ace of hearts, that's not necessarily the case. Um, so if four spades gets an answer of five clubs showing third round control, you could still bid five diamonds if you feel like it. Or you could pass five clubs. But unless partners got no control of diamonds, i.e. they bid four hearts over four diamonds, you're not in a position to make a safe epsilon in spades. And it's actually spades that's the critical suit, not diamonds. Okay. All right. Carry on, uh, Sanya. So four spades is epsilon in spades. So five diamonds shows second round control of um, spades. So that's either a singleton or the king. And I think that's enough for East. Because if West has a singleton spade, then they must have um, either the Ace of Hearts or 
which takes care of our losing diamond, or the king of hearts and the king of diamonds. Either way, we want to be in six. Um, and I mean, actually, if they've got the king of spades, now you see, I would bid five spades here, Esther. I was, I was just coming to that, okay? If partner's got a singleton spade, we probably want to be... in six clubs and five spades if they've got a singleton spade will get a response of five no trumps but if they bid six clubs showing three to an honor or six diamonds showing the singleton king now we probably want to be in seven clubs do you see why five spades is okay? Um, any response other than five no trumps, we almost certainly we want to be in six clubs rather than seven clubs. Uh, we can't be sure of roughing the clubs good when partner's got three to the king. Um, but if partner shows the king of spades and six clubs does show an honour that the second round control was an honour. In other words, they've got three or four to the king. Now we want to be in seven. Probably. Okay. Uh, so now it's down to uh, East to decide what to do here. Yeehaw. So again, this, this hand comes back to trying to extract the maximum amount of information from the bidding so far and crafting your bidding sequence in such a way that you make the right asks. And this is something that only comes with experience here. Once partner shows up with the king of spades, there's two possibilities. We know they've got the king of clubs. They've either got the king of hearts or they've got the king of diamonds. Um, if they've got uh, three to the king in spades and they've got five card hearts because they bid one spade, sorry, one heart over one club and they've got three to the king in clubs, the maximum amount of diamonds they can have is two. That's the absolute maximum. So... Um, Assuming that the spades are running for five tricks, we're going to get the critical uh, diamond discard from the east hand. On the other hand, uh, can we get? Can we be sure of getting rid of the diamond from our hand? Okay, if the clubs are two-two, then we will always have a club left in dummy to rough the, the ten of diamonds. But if the clubs are 3-1, we aren't, because we're going to have to draw trumps before we run the spades. And actually now we need either a lead of the ace of hearts or a lead from the queen of hearts, which is what we've actually got. So now the jack of hearts is going to force the ace and the king of hearts is going to take care of our ten of diamonds regardless of uh, the club position. So actually, seven clubs does does uh, carry some risks here. If uh, the clubs weren't two two, and South hadn't led a heart, we might have a problem. But thank you, John, because when they lead a small heart, almost certainly they haven't got the ace. Um, and when we put the jack in, it's going to force the ace out. Okay, any questions? Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, that... <laughs> yeah, quite right, John. <laughs> 
I didn't know uh, Mick Jagger was a bridge player. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah, passively, but it doesn't because the clubs are two-two. It doesn't matter. Um, we uh, because the clubs are two-two. Uh, it doesn't matter. The spades are coming in for five tricks. That takes care of the diamond loser in the west hand, and we can rough the ten of diamonds in dummy. Okay, next hand. If there's no questions. Just keeping them for the morning, if I can. Yes, I know, but you need yours for tomorrow. Don't you? Yeah, I know. But I've still got some here, but I'm just saving them a bit. Okay, so two spades is a jump shift over one diamond, so that's alpha in spades. Okay, so three hearts, a four-step response. So that's a green spade showing at least four small or... Uh, in fact, it's showing a maximum of four small or... It could be three to two top honours, but it can't be four to one top honour. So it's either four small or three cards to one top honour at least. No, three hearts is four steps, Ellie. A raise of the suit, of the ask suit, is five steps. Or ten steps, or fifteen steps. So three hearts is a four-step response. Okay. So this is showing support for spades, four small or three to a top honour, either of which is fine from North's point of view. Um, and four or more controls. So here, three spades would be sigma, but we wouldn't bother in the circumstances because um, unless east has got three to the queen and south has got four small, we're never going to have a spade loser. Um, So here, three spades would be sigma, three no trumps is relay beta. And anything else is going to be epsilon. Three no trumps can be beta because we've agreed a major. If we've agreed a major, we're never going to be interested in playing in no trumps. That's the rule. Sanya, you're red spotted. That uh, means she's potentially lost her connection. And indeed, she's gone. I'll sit in for and pass. Okay, so three in a shot to relay beta, four clubs, one step, but we're using the strong scale. So four clubs is showing exactly four controls. So now we know we've agreed spades. All the trump asking bids have gone out the window. We know exactly how many controls South has. So the only asking bids that are left now, or the only asking bid that's left now, is Epsilon. So North can start asking questions about the degree of control South has in the side suits.
so we've north has seven controls and south south's got four so we're missing a king somewhere the only king we can possibly be missing is is in hearts so we know they've got the two the two minor suit aces that's their four controls so the critical thing now is what they've got in hearts potentially because if they've got okay is that Sanya back almost have a seat Sanya okay okay so now you can see Ellie why actually four diamonds doesn't really help you okay no it's okay I, I mean if the trouble is you don't know for certain that that south has got a diamond suit so even if they show first and third round control of diamonds it's not really helping you where hearts is concerned so i would ask in hearts here and that the answer to hearts as it happens is going to tell you everything that you need to know Right, so five clubs shows second round control of clubs. Okay, can partner have the king of hearts? No, they can't. We've already established that they must have the two minor suit aces. That's the only, because if, if we've got 11 controls between the two hands, we're missing a king somewhere. The only king we can conceivably be missing is the king of hearts because we've got the other three. So when South shows second round control of hearts, it must be a singleton. Can't be anything else. Ellie is pondering here. Never mind, Sanya. We've had uh, really freezing east winds. Yes. In practice, it does, Charlene. But um, I suppose with a with a really massive two suited hand, you could do it on less. But in principle, it's always showing 16 plus. That's the same. To be honest with you, that's the same with club one club openers. It's the same with. Yeah, the jump shift over one of a major isn't alpha. OK, that's eight to nine. And either fit showing or a mini sprinter. But over one diamond, one no trump or two clubs, it's it's ostensibly six. 16 or more well done Ellie if partners got a singleton spade they even on a spade lead they cannot stop you from roughing two hearts whatever South has in spades and that's really nice one Ellie well done yep excellente okay so uh, again thinking about what asking bids are going to really help you here four diamonds is the cheapest epsilon ask but that's not always the consideration because we already know that partners got the ace of diamonds because they unless they've got the singleton ace of diamonds which isn't impossible um, any response to four diamonds is going to be at least five diamonds might be five hearts um, even over four diamonds okay I, but I mean it takes time Ellie you're not gonna you're not gonna really get into 
crafting asking bids, you know, the first time through this course. I, I guarantee you that. Um, you know, after a while, you automatically start really thinking about the implications of the bidding so far. Like, as soon as partner bids four clubs showing four controls, we know they've got the two minor two aces. That might not occur to you the first time round because you're thinking of all sorts of other things. But if they've got four controls, um, yeah, you could six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The trouble is, yeah, fair point. But they could have the two minor two aces, the queen of spades, and have two jacks. Wallied. That would give them 11 points. Yeah, 10 in each minor. Uh, or even one jack. They don't even have to have both. They only need 11 points to open one diamond. So... Uh, no, I would bid seven spades rather than seven no trumps. You might bid seven no trumps at pairs just for the extra ten points because that could make a big difference to your score. Um, and it's worth taking the risk. But technically, they could have ace-jack of one minor, the ace with nothing else in the other minor, and the queen of spades. That's still 11 points. And a lot of people, not many people, will get to seven here. Because they won't have the mechanism to establish that South's got a singleton heart. Okay, Walid, you take my point. So you might take the risk at pairs, but at teams I would always be in seven spades rather than seven N. Any other questions or comments? We'll try and fit one more hand in. Because I haven't had my dinner yet. Name is... <laughs> I love it. Uh, raining frogs. Superb. Well, we haven't had any uh, frogs coming down from on high, but we've had a lot of snow. There are some there are some villages. I mean, we're in the bottom of a valley in uh, in New Mills. Uh, we've had a fair amount of snow, and and most of that's actually gone now. But we were driving around today, Naomi and I, and there were some places where there were still some sort of uh, the remains of three and four foot drifts of snow. Uh, and there have been some villages near us that have been cut off. I think John's got a practice tomorrow. Um, yeah, there were some uh, villages near us cut off this week with all the roads closed around them because of uh, very large snow drifts. Um, yeah, it's been quite good fun. Straight animals. Huh? I think it's using a snowboard, uh, the surfboard, yeah, if you've got uh, um, super scary winds, yeah, go for it. Maybe a bit cold. <laughs> okay, one more hand and then we'll call it a night. Yeah, but that's what makes it fun, John. What you need to do, Sanya, is to go down to, uh, what's that place in Portugal that has some of the uh, the biggest waves? Is it Nazar or something? Um, there's some point in Portugal that gets these enormous waves, some of the biggest waves in the world. Because um, they're all, Nazar, that's right, yeah. Um, spectacular YouTube videos of people, um, 600 people, 600, 600. Uh, fantastic YouTube videos of people surfing at Nazar. Um, look it up. Biggest waves you've ever seen. The world record 
was for the biggest wave ever surfed was set there, not Hawaii or one of these other places in the Pacific. Name is here, but uh, she doesn't go surfing. Well, except on the internet. <laughs> Spending, money Spending my money again. Oh my God. She's already spent all my overtime from this week. <laughs> um, um, why three clubs, Sanya? That's not a hand for three clubs. Believe me. That's a hand for a two club. No, but you've only got five. Listen, guys, if you are looking at pictures of cards, it's very easy on BBO, I mean, it's very easy to misread your hand. If you turn your display onto hand diagrams, it's almost impossible to misread your hand. I would lay odds that Sanya is looking at pictures of cards here. Okay. Um, you can still occasionally misread your hand if you're looking at a hand diagram, but it's much harder. Both valid. Um, normally, asking bids over an intermediate opening were ostensibly 16 plus, and we know partners 11 to 15. So we're certainly heading towards slam, but we might stop in game. Um, obviously, asking bids over a one club opener uh, certainly to gain because it's game forcing if we've had a positive response. Um, yeah, I mean, we're potentially always looking for a slam, but we may realize fairly soon that a slam isn't an option here. Esther wondering whether to bid. Okay, we got a touching, we got a touching two suitor here, so we will always. If we're going to use alpha, it will always be in the higher of our two ranking, two touching suits. Always. Here, so here, three hearts, not three diamonds. If we get a negative response to three diamonds, inevitably, our second ask in hearts is going to be at the four level. Whereas, if we get a negative response to three hearts, we've got a cheaper response of four diamonds rather than four hearts. So three hearts is alpha in hearts. Uh, hang on a second, Sanya. Four spades, please. Not four hearts. Four hearts shows only four controls. Or sorry, sorry exactly four controls and good support for hearts. Four spades shows exactly five controls and good support for hearts. Okay. So again, from Esther's point of view, we know we're missing a king somewhere. We know that partner's got the king of hearts, so we're missing the king of clubs. Does that matter? No, because we've got a singleton club. We know partners got the ace of clubs. We know they've got the ace of spades. We know they've got the king of hearts. So the only issue is, have they got three small diamonds? That's the only thing left to ask here. So again, we've worked out most of partners' hand before we've made a single asking bid apart from three hearts because we know they've got five controls oops okay i'll jump in um because we know they've got five controls they must have the two black aces and they must have the king of hearts because they've shown a five a, sorry a six step response to three hearts so that's four to a top honor at least can't have five hearts, so it's four, 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 to, four to the king in hearts. We know they got five clubs. <coughs> Potentially, they could have the stiff ace of spades and three diamonds. <laughs> but if they've got the stiff ace of spades, then our king of spades is going to take care of their third diamond. 
So do we need to ask in diamonds? Actually, no, we don't. Because whatever they've got, if they've got ace X in spades, they can only have two diamonds. Okay? If, uh, if they've got three spades, they've got a singleton diamond. Has Esther come back? Not yet. Okay. Um, okay, does everybody uh, get the issues there? And again, we're, working, we're doing most of our analysis without actually making the asking bids. We could bid five diamonds here if we wanted to be sure. Um, we could bid five diamonds. We've got the space to do it because we know we're safe in six hearts regardless. And actually, five diamonds is going to get a five no trump response that shows the, a second round control of diamonds. So now we've got a singleton diamond. And basically, we know they've got three spades, four hearts, a singleton diamond, and five clubs because they open two clubs. So we can, we can write their hand down pretty much. Okay, we don't know about the queen of clubs. Um, B-E-G-I-N-N-E-R. It's right there in front of you, Naomi. Sewing for the absolute beginner. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry about that. Um, so we could bid five diamonds, but to be honest with you, it doesn't matter. Um, in fact, we... Sorry? Um, just hang on a second, guys. C-U-S-H-I-O-N-S. Um, to be honest with you, Sanya, I, I, I mean, I've been doing this for so long that I, I just think about it automatically. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to show you the thought processes here. I, I don't even, really, it's just, once partner shows five controls, I know we've got 11 controls between the two hands because I've got six. Okay, um, so I, I know we're missing a king somewhere. But on the other hand, partner bid four spades over three hearts. So I know they've got four to the king in hearts. So that tells me exactly which king is missing. Okay, I know it's the king of clubs. Um, I couldn't care less whether they've got the king of clubs or not, because I've only got a singleton. So the only issue for me, really, is whether they've got three diamonds, in which case we've got a diamond loser, or not. But I know they've got the ace of spades. If they have got three diamonds and the singleton ace of spades, because they open two clubs, if they've got five clubs and four hearts, they've only got four cards between diamonds and spades. So if they've got the singleton ace of hearts, my king of spades, I will. Um, can we have a lead, John? Yes, okay, that's fine. Um, just one second. Here's Esther. But too late because I've bid the hand. Okay, so, so if partner's got the stiff ace of spades, my king of spades is going to take care of their third diamond. Potentially... A 4-0 heart split might embarrass me. It's quite all right, Esther. Um, are you back with voice now? I was, I was just explaining here. Are, are you back with us on voice, Esther? Esther, can you hear me? Because I'll, I'll just go through that again because it's quite important um, what I was saying there. I don't know if Esther's listening or not. Um, oh. Um,
to save me typing all that out. Just bear with me a second, guys. Um, since it was Esther who was going to have to make the decisions. Okay. Um, can you hear me now, Esther? Okay. What I was saying there, three hearts got a four spade response showing five controls. The, I was just explaining the thought processes that um, East needs to go through here. If, if West has got five controls and we know they've got four to the king in hearts, then we know that it's the king of clubs that's missing. We know the partner's got the ace of spades, they must have the ace of clubs. Um, and so it's the king of clubs that's missing. If they've got five clubs and four hearts, which they obviously have, because they open two clubs but have four hearts to the king, that means they can only have four cards between diamonds and spades. The only potential issue is if they've got a stiff ace of spades and three small diamonds. You might think you've now potentially got a diamond loser. If they've got two diamonds and two spades, we don't have a diamond loser because we can rough the diamonds in uh, dummy. If uh, West has got three hearts, sorry, three spades, they've got a singleton diamond. And if they've got the singleton ace of hearts and three small diamonds, our king of spades is actually going to take care of the diamond loser in their hand. So either way, there's actually no real need for any epsilons here because um, we're probably going to take a chance on seven hearts regardless. We could bid five diamonds over four spades and make certain that we get a five no trump response showing second round control. And that must be a singleton because we've got the king of diamonds. But actually, there's no need. You can just bid seven hearts or six hearts if you don't fancy it over four spades because our analysis of the hand is going to tell us that we can get rid of any losers in the west hand um, and uh, just try and rough the diamonds good. Okay, anybody else got any questions or comments about this hand? Okay, that's the only time, really. Um, in practice, I think because it turns out that partner's got the king and the jack and we've got the ace, queen, ten, nine in our hand. As it turns out on this hand, we can afford to rough the diamonds high more than once. We can cash the ace of diamonds, rough a diamond high, return to our hand, say, with the king of spades, rough a diamond high with the jack. We've still got the top five trumps left. We could even afford to rough all three diamonds in the west hand if we can avoid getting over roughed. Um, and we can still, uh, we're still going to have the top four heart on us as it turns out. Yes, they could be, in which case now you're going to try and rough um, You're going to start off, it depends It depends what the lead is. If the lead's a spade here, you're going to um, take the first trick with the ace of spades. You're going to play a diamond to the ace, rough a diamond. diamonds and north has got one that you're going to have a problem um, come back to the king of spades and now lead another diamond um, or you might take a couple of rounds of spades first if uh, everybody follows to um, 
the first heart, then you might take the king of hearts, come back to hand somehow, and now try uh, roughing another round of diamonds. Because you know that the diamonds are going to be 4-3 or 5-2. Either way, you need to take the chance. Okay? But there's a good chance that partner's got either the king, sorry, either the jack or the eight, if not both. You're only missing four in the suit. Okay, guys, I think we're going to call it a day there. It's quarter past 11. Um, I haven't had my dinner yet. Naomi's had hers, but I haven't had mine. Uh, if there's no other questions about this hand, I will see you next well, I did say, I did say, Sanya, if you don't fancy seven hearts and you want to sign off in six hearts, that's fine. Um, I don't think many people will be in a grand slam here. Okay, uh, see you all next week.